his schoolboy error there. The pitch, obviously, the bounce could be affected, but you don't get caught like he was facing his goal there. The ball being chipped. Absolutely nothing in this opportunity, but there you see completely missing the ball in Yerenda and offering a gift to Zimbabwe, uh, which they take without any invitation whatsoever. Malajila there showing composure and slotting away the opener for Zimbabwe. And you saw Nurenda putting his hand up there. You would think that he is saying sorry to his teammates. He was actually looking for the offside, which is even more ridiculous. But uh, <laughs> yes. excellently taken by Malajila. He has a poacher's instinct up front. And he's shown it here already. Now come Wendo. This might fall here for Malawi. Quick reports. They have equalized. John Banda, two goals in a week, and the Flames are level pegging. Well, Banda struck that ball cleanly. You, you could see there the ball was passed across, laid up, and uh, what a strike. I mean, you could be proud of a strike like that, Mark. I mean, he hit it first time, he hit it with the laces, and the keeper had absolutely no chance. There we see a mistake there, defender on the ground, ball played across, and there Banda comes in. And what a goal. What a strike from Banda. Well, the attempted clearance from Giangano went nowhere. The initial effort from uh, Kamwendo was the one that caused the panic in the Zimbabwean defense. I thought Malawi then were perhaps a little over elaborate, uh, trying to play a couple of one-twos in there, looking for Mkanda. But the loose ball fell perfectly for John Banda and how well he struck that. So Zimbabwe's lead lasting less than a minute. It's one all in this Group F qualifier for Gabon 2017. Bright start from both teams. And now this crowd is, uh, well, really up there. And they are going to get...